Good morning, everybody. I'm going to review with you 12-3 Practice Buddy, and then this will also be a preview for 12-3 Additional Practice Buddy. So 12-3, the topic being discussed, the concept is um, identifying the whole, okay, or understanding the whole. So you might be given a unit part of a shape or a unit fraction of a shape. You might be given two parts out of three, and you have to choose the shape that has the whole that would match, that would correspond. All right, so we'll begin. I'll walk you through this, and this should help you with additional practice, buddy, today, so that we can reinforce the idea and clarify anything that was confusing. Okay, so here we're given one third. It says draw a picture and write a fraction to represent the whole. Of course, the pictures are drawn here. So Anyway, we're looking for one third. So we're looking for the the object or the drawing representation that shows three parts. So we really need to look at the denominator here. So this is one of the three. So here is one of three. Okay, so we choose that, we check answer. Then the second part is the fraction that represents the whole. So this is reinforcing that whenever the numerator and denominator are the same, that equals one whole. In this case, since there's three parts that make up the figure, three thirds represents the whole. And if you think about this, fraction lines are division symbols. It might be hard to understand so far, but think about what is three divided by three. Three divided by three is one. So three divided by three equals one whole. We will get into that in the future. You could do a similar question if you like. Remember, you may have had different questions. There are different forms of these practice buddies. All right, so let's take a look here. We're looking for this part to be one third. That's a unit fraction. Remember, unit fractions are one part of the whole. So we're looking for the figure, the number line, that has three parts. So we start here. It's not the number of lines. It's not one, two, three, four. This is zero, okay? And then we want to see which one has, which number line has three parts. One, two, three. Okay, so watch my cursor. This is zero. So this is one third, two thirds. This is three thirds. So this is representing one third. So this is the shape. We look at that denominator three to find the one with three parts. Again, one, two, three. One third, two thirds, three thirds. And remember, one third plus one third plus one third equals three thirds or one third times three equals three thirds. When you're adding and and when you're adding and multiplying with fractions, only the top number changes. The bottom number stays the same. Again, I'm trying to give a little additional information for those that are fully okay with this and then review also, okay, I have to check my answer. And now the fraction blank represents the whole. Same as last time. One, two, three. There's three of them. So three thirds represents the whole. Similar question if you'd like. Okay, now this might have been a little tricky for you, okay? This shape represents two sixths. So we need to find, okay, now here's, okay, you have to imagine that there's a line right here, okay? Here's one sixth and a second sixth. So I'm looking for the shape, okay, this has three, one, two, three, four, five. This one here has six. This one has one, two, three, four, five. This one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so here. Now, 
take this piece and place it right here. Okay, that's the two sixths. So yes, it's confusing. You have to imagine halfway that there's a line there so that you have one sixth and two sixths. So this is gonna be our shape here. All right, and even though the line is not drawn there for you. And the fraction that represents this whole, again, is six, so six six. Remember, okay, they want you to understand that a whole is always with the same number top and bottom. Now before, check my answer. Now before I move on, I wanna point out that one third and two sixths are equal. Take this piece here and place it right here Okay, and then right here, and they're the same size. Okay, so they're just divided differently. So one third and two sixths. You could take a pizza pie and cut it into four. You could also take that same pizza pie and cut it into eight. Or in this case, you can take a pizza pie and cut it into three or into six. Okay, so that's equivalent fractions, which is unit 13. You can do a similar question if you like. Now this represents two sixths. So I need to find the shape with six parts. So this shape has six parts and this shape has six parts. But I need, okay, if I draw a line right here, I'd have one sixth and two sixths halfway. All right, and that would fit here. That wouldn't fit here. It's not the same size. So I'm going to choose this one. And that would represent right here, let me draw the outline, the two sixths that you can see. Okay, and check my answer. Okay, and then the toll, the fraction that represents the whole is six sixths. Moving forward, we have a word problem. Noah and Becky were shown one half of a pool. They each drew a picture of the whole pool. Which drawing is correct? Explain. Here is Noah's drawing and Becky's drawing. We have two parts, same triangles, and two parts, same triangles. Is only Noah correct? Is only Becky correct or is Noah and Becky both correct? I'm going to tell you that Noah and Becky are both correct because look, here's one of the two parts and here's one of the two parts. So they're both correct. The pools they drew both have, now this is a whole number. So I tried to point out yesterday, it doesn't ask for the fraction that they drew. It asks for the number or the pools they drew both have blank. They want a whole number, two given pieces. So here's the here's the clue pieces two pieces not two halves pieces just two pieces the shape of the whole does not matter yes the shape of the whole doesn't matter it could be this shape or this shape okay even if the numbers were different I believe they all the forms had the answer was C that they're both correct you could do a similar question. And by the way, I don't know how many forms there are, but I do know that people get different problems. If the part shown here is one half of the garden, what could the garden look like? Okay, well, this would be one, two, three. So if this were one third, this would be the answer. This is two parts, one half. So this is this is the one half. But, hmm. Um, yeah, so that's the one. Okay, this would be one, two, three, four, five, six. So if this said one sixth, this would be your answer. One, two, three, four. If it said one fourth, this would be your answer. So but it's one out of two. So it's right here. One, two. And then let's see what they asked me next. I check my answer. The fraction blank represents the whole. Again, same number top and bottom. Two halves represents the whole. Oops. Check that answer and move on. Oops, okay, similar question, one sixth. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, here it is. This one has four, this one has three, this one has two. And then it's going to be six sixth that represents the whole. Here it says the fraction that represents the whole is sixth, six sixths.
Okay. And you could do a third question if you'd like. You do as much as you'd like. There are endangered animals at a national park. It is estimated, it was estimated that there were 20 endangered animals in the park in 1980. In 2010, it was estimated that there were now 190 endangered animals. About how many more endangered animals were there in 2010 than 1980? So going to take 190 minus the 20. You can do that mentally. If not, you can write it up and down and answer 170. Amy and Annika are painting walls. They were finished. They have finished the parts shown. Draw pictures to show each whole wall whose wall is larger. Okay, so here's Annika and here's Amy. So we're looking for Amy first. So here's her one half. Okay, now look, it could fit here, but that's three parts. Could fit here, but that's four parts. Here's the one. This one, two, one half. Two halves would fit right there. That's Amy. And now for Annika or Anika, I'm not sure how to say that name. One half we're looking for. There's one part, two parts. This would be one fourth. These don't match the same size. And we have to figure out whose is bigger. So since Annika's half is bigger, her hole will be bigger as well. So the wall is larger. That's Annika. Half of her wall is longer than the picture for one half of Amy's wall. Annika's wall is larger because one half of her wall is longer than one half of Amy's wall. Okay, now this is basically like a number line, but it's showing a shape, okay? If this picture shows three-sixths of a length of string, which picture shows the whole string? Now, I've pointed out to you guys before, maybe very briefly, if we were in school, I would have made sure to definitely point this out to you. You know what? I remember now on the number line, number lines that I drew, I meant to show you that the halves are equal, but um, I, I forgot. So whenever the top number is half the bottom number, or whenever the top number can be doubled to get the bottom number, it's equal to one half. So if this is one half, we have to imagine another half of the same size. So here, right here is, this is one half, there's one half, three sixths, and then another three sixths. Two fourths might have been an option. Four eighths, let's do a similar one. Okay, now this one's a little trickier because we need to find that if the picture shows five sixths, okay, I'm gonna draw a number line here to sixths. Okay, so look here. Here's a number line. Oops, how did I get this? All right. So there's zero, and there's six six, the one hole. Look how far along five six is. Okay. So since five six is very far along, we're gonna look for the shape that's just a little bit bigger than five six. So if we look here, okay, this one is the same shape. This one here is, this one here is the five, six. Letter B is five, six, it's the same size. So here, since this is equal to five, six, here's your six, six right here, okay? Tough one. Let's do one more. It's the same answer, same question. Oh, well, it's this one here again. All right, moving on to the last question. If each part below is one fourth of the whole, which part, which is part of the smallest whole? I did a number like that. I did an example like that on your video yesterday. 
So let me see, let me reverse myself back here. And um, so which part is the smallest? So we're looking for the smallest one fourth. Okay, so it's right here. These are all equal to one fourth of a different number line. So they're not all the same size. So this one would be the shortest because we'd be multiplying this one fourth four times. So it would be one, two, three, four. This one will be one, two, three, all the way out here, okay? So here's the smallest one, all right? And that's it for today. So if we take a look, this is basically what I get when you work, okay? I can see everything. I can go click at your questions and I can view everything you did. So please do your best. I always check your work, always. So please do your best and continue to work hard. All right, have a great day.